Hey guys, Super Nintendo Boff here, and I'm here with a small little iWeb tip for you today. Okay, this is how to get iframes into iWeb. It's really simple, it just takes a few seconds, and this is how you can do it. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what an iframe is, it's, well, pretty simple, you can tell by looking at this page here. Uh, basically, an iframe just allows you to embed any other website into your own website, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can do that in iWeb, okay? This requires basically no knowledge of any code, you know, no JavaScript, nothing. It's really easy. It literally take, just takes a second, okay? So you're going to need to uh, insert a HTML snippet. I'm going to do this by going to menu bar, clicking insert, and then going on the widget tab. Then here, once there, click on the HTML snippet. You can also do this by going on show media and obviously dragging in a HTML snippet. Okay? Either way, you need to drag in a HTML snippet. Now, obviously, put the HTML snippet wherever you want and then add the following code. Now, I'll put this code in the description box. If I can't do that, then I'll put a link in the description box to the code itself, okay? So just copy the code. And then there's three things you want to consider. First of all, the site, okay? Add the website or, you know, the web page you want to show. Second of all, the width and the height, okay? So make sure that, you know, it's in proportion to your site. If there's not enough room, you see, like in iWeb, there's some borders down here, and, you know, the iframe kind of goes out a bit. You can always go on Inspector, then go on the Page tab, and then click Layout. And then here you can adjust the width and height of your page, so obviously you have enough room for the um, iframe and the web page you're trying to show. Okay, So add in the code, and then click Apply. Okay, So once you're happy with the height, width, and the, obviously the website link, click Apply, and the iframe should load in a matter of seconds. Okay, there you go. So just one last thing to consider is that the iframe, because it is a HTML snippet, or you know, just like any kind of any other element in iWeb, must be set to bring to front, okay? So it must be ahead or in front of everything else, okay? Um the reason I say this is obviously because if there's something on the actual HTML snippet, when you publish it and someone goes on your site, they won't actually be able to use the iframe because there's something in front of the iframe, you know, so basically blocking the user from using it, okay? So make sure it's set to bring to front. And if that's alright, then you can publish it, and that's it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.